Hello. This is a MAC Audio Halloween Makeup Book. I'm using a MAC Studio Fix Foundation and a MAC 190 Foundation Brush. I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my skin. The foundation is lighter than the colour of my skin by a fair bit, but that's good. I'm going for that look in this makeup tutorial. I'm using MAC Studio Finish Concealer and I'm going to go ahead and apply that under my eyes, the sides of my nose and anywhere else that I might need to conceal. To fix the foundation and concealer into place, I'm going to go ahead and use the Urban Decay D-Slick Mattifying Powder and I'm using a Real Techniques blusher brush actually to apply this just because I find the brush is fluffy and yeah, it picks up just enough product for me to set the foundation and concealer how I want to. I've already done the makeup for one eye, it's this spider's web on a lime neon green background. First I'm going to start with priming my eyelid with this Urban Decay Primer Potion. From this Stargazer eyeshadow palette I'm using this neon lime green colour here, it actually glows in UV light and I'm going to use a Real Techniques eyeshadow brush and I'm going to start applying that to my eyelid. I'm packing the eyeshadow on to really build up the colour. And I'm taking that colour through my lower lash line as well. Using this Collection 2000 Black Liquid Eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and line my upper lash line with that. So I'm starting in the inner corner of my eye and the line is very narrow there. And I'm taking it across to the outer corner of my eye and creating this flick and getting thicker as I go out. Once I've done that, I'm going to take that Black Liquid Liner all the way across my lower lash line. Once I get to the inner corner of my eye, I'm going to bring the liquid eyeliner down like this and curve it round into a little swirl. Next, I'm going to start drawing the spider's web onto my eyelid and I'm using this Barry M black marker pen. I think it's brilliant for this job because it's just so easy to control. And what I'm doing is I'm starting from my lash line which I lined with the black liquid liner and I'm just going to work my way up to just under my crease and I'm doing five lines like this. Once I've finished drawing the five lines up, what I'm going to do is join the top of each line to the next and I'm going to do that by drawing a curved line from one tip to another like this. And then working my way down each line, I'm going to repeat exactly the same thing and join it to the next line to create the spider's web. Once I've finished outlining the spider's web, I'm going to go over all the lines with the black liquid eyeliner, the Collection 2001 that I used to line my upper and lower lash lines. And I'm doing that just so it's more intense and you can really see the black there against the green. Once I've done that, I'm going to start outlining the spider's web underneath my eyes. So I'm starting from the lower lash line that I lined with the black eyeliner. And I'm just going to draw five lines out in a similar way to what I did at the top. And I'm just going to draw them out. And then I'm going to join them together in the same way that I did with the spider's web on my eyelid. Now I'm finished doing the lower spider's web, I'm going to draw a line going from the third line in the spider's web and at the end of that I'm just going to do a little flick and a curl. Using this NYX eyebrow pencil I'm just going to fill in my brows as and where I need to just to shape and define them. After applying false lashes, I'm going to go ahead and use this Barry M Black Mascara and I'm going to apply that to my upper and lower lashes. Next, I'm using this Black Eyeliner by Urban Decay in Perversion. It's a very intense jet black colour and I'm going to apply that to my lower waterline as well as my upper waterline just to really darken my eyes and give them that intense dark look. On one side of my face, I've decided to draw this spider here. So you can do that on the side of your face or your cheek or anywhere you want really. I decided to do it here. Using this Real Technique setting brush and this green eyeshadow, I'm going to apply it to my cheekbones and use that as a blusher.
I wanted to add just a little bit of colour to my face because my foundation is very light and I've got green blusher so I'm using this MAC blusher here, it's a very soft pink colour, it's called Well Dressed and I'm applying that very lightly to the apples of my cheeks. Next I'm using this green glitter cream eyeshadow from this NYX glitter eyeshadow palette and I'm just going to apply that lightly to my cheekbones just to highlight that area and give it a bit of sparkle. Using MAC Studio Finish Concealer, I'm going to cover up my lips just so I can draw on some lips using this Smolder Black Eyeliner by MAC and I'm going to draw them on in the shape that I want. I've decided to go for some very narrow but long lips in black. Once I've outlined the shape I want, I'm filling them in using the black eyeliner. Using this black colour here from this Makeup Forever Flash Palette, I'm going to fill in the lips just to give them that really intense black look. Again, I'm going to use some of this green glitter and I'm just going to dab that on my lips just to add a little bit of sparkle and to use that green to bring all the green together from my eyes and my cheeks. I also decided to draw a spider on my neck and this is it, the finished look. Thanks for watching.